Hello. Today I want to talk about longevity, something I've been interested in studying for a long time now. Uh, so the question here is, what is the key for longevity or what is it that actually keeps us live that bit longer, uh, have healthy lifestyle and live that bit longer, enables us to live that bit longer? So that's the question. So it's, you see, it has a lot to do with sugar control, the amount of sugar in our body, the amount of sugar in our cells at any given time. So to understand longevity, I think one of the fundamental things we could do is we could actually study people who have lived longer. Now, there are places in the world where people predominantly live longer. Uh, examples include uh, Okinawa, Japan, Loma Linda, California, Ikeria, Greece, Sardinia, Italy. Now, in these places, people actually live longer. Most of them actually live 100 years and above, so you will find lots of centenarians in these places. If you actually, if you actually look at the lifestyles of these people, there's, there's some things common in, in all these places. Of course, they don't eat the same thing. They don't have exactly the same lifestyle, but there are some common things. And one of the fundamental, one of the common things that you'll find is they all eat less. They eat less, they will be lean. Now, if you don't believe me, you go and find somebody who's very elderly, who's healthy. Now, if you look at that person's lifestyle, you will see that that person will actually eat very less and that person will be lean. Now, this is a fundamental thing. And this is associated also with fasting, intermittent fasting. It has been shown in many studies, many experiments that actually prolongs life. Uh, it helps with longevity. It's been done on insects, small animals, even on human beings. So what is, so if, if you look at the, if, if you look at less eating, if you look at fasting, the fundamental thing here is actually the amount of sugar that is actually found in your body, in your cells at any given time, and that needs to be tightly controlled. So for, for, a, low, for, to, for a healthy long life, your blood sugar level should be between 70 milligrams per deciliter and 120 milligrams per deciliter. So the range at any given time should be between these two numbers, which is 70 milligrams per deciliter and 120 milligrams per deciliter. Now let's just imagine you are somebody who eats a lot of sugary food and drinks lots of sugary drinks. Imagine you take a can of soda and you drink the can, that can of soda. Now, the point at which you drink that can of soda, your blood sugar will shoot up. Maybe it will go above 120, probably will go to up to 200 or even beyond that. Now, after 15, 20 minutes, all the sugar in that drink gets digested and com gets converted into, into glucose and goes into your bloodstream. Your bloodstream turns into, your blood turns into pink. And what happens is after 15, 20 minutes, all the sugar gets di digested and you, you feel hungry and then you crave for more sugar. You go and eat more sugar, sugary food, you, eat, you drink more sugary drinks and your blood sugar goes up again, comes down and so on and so forth. So this process starts repeat, gets repeated. Uh, and this actually, this process, this going, sugar going up, sugar level going up, go, coming down, going up, coming down in short periods of time, this actually produces a lot of damage in the body even before you get to diabetes. Now, people associate sugar and sugary drinks, sugary food with diabetes. Yes, that's true. If you eat more sugary food, if you drink more sugary drinks, you will get diabetes. But even before you get to diabetes, it actually creates a lot of damage in your body. The processes, the cells get damaged well before you get to diabetes. Now, I have been actually experimenting myself on my blood sugar for a, for a, for a while now, for a few good years. And I want to show you a, a graph where I have actually monitored my blood sugar for over a period of 24 hours. In this graph, you see the fluctuation of my blood sugar uh, for a period of 24 hours. And I'm particularly interested in this point where it's marked two. Now you see that point, my sugar level has gone up above the desired level, which is 120, so it's, it's shot up to 130. Now, if I look at what I ate at that point in time, I ate uh, grapefruit, blueberries, uh, some nuts, and goat's milk. Now, grapefruit, blueberries, nuts, and goat's milk, this is a perfectly healthy meal. There's nothing wrong with this meal at all. But what I ate was I ate one whole grapefruit. And eating one whole grapefruit 
actually produce a lot of it's actually too much sugar that my body can handle so that actually reflects on the on, on the graph as you can see so the point that i want to make here is that fruit while it's actually very good too much excessive amounts of fruit is not even good for you so even even though it's fruit which is healthy still excessive amounts of fruit are actually not good for you now as i said before the key to longevity is to keep that sugar level between 70 milligrams per deciliter and 120 milligrams per deciliter now you might think actually it's easy it's actually um it's actually not that easy now food the amount of food the amount the type of food the amount and the type of drinks that you have is one thing that will actually control your blood sugar level of course but it's a lot more more than that your your sleep your, the, the stress level you have the amount of exercise you take all these actually do count um in in managing your blood sugar level so it's important to bear in mind that that level with the 70 milligrams per deciliter and 120 milligrams per deciliter but at the same time it's important to bear in mind that it's actually difficult to control unless you have other things built in in your lifestyle like like the the type of food and and drinks that you you have and and your sleep level your stress level as well as the amount of exercises that you get okay thank you i hope to see you again bye for now